Okay, so I have done my score lines and cut off a half inch on both sides. And so now I'm going to fold on the very outside score line because right now that is all I'm interested in. Well, actually, I guess I need to do both of them in order to make sure I've got this correct. All right, now let's get the second fold line going. There we go. Kind of give it a little finger press if you want to get in there and just take that little edge on there that's just fine okay now before i actually do the other one i'm going to check and see how we're doing here and i think this is going to work very nicely Okay, so let's get this fold line completed. Actually kind of folding it over like this is a lot easier than what I was trying to do with my fingers. Okay. There we go. Now let's take this off. There's that. And then flip this. All right. And then this is going to match up. Perfectly. Just got to get it lined up just right. There we go. Isn't that lovely? I love it. I love it. Okay, now in order to keep this closed. Um I believe what I want to do is kind of like they would bar the doors in the old days. So let me get a couple of black. Well, I need four. So let me get four. You can use any color that you want. A bit of housekeeping here. All right. Um, now I need some strips. So let's see what I've got here. See, I've already got quite a bit in my uh, in my pile of goodies. Let's see. I've got some metal metal paper still left. One of these might work just fine. And let's see, I want, see this is three inches, I believe. Yeah, this is three inches. Um, so I think if I do a half inch, I think that's all I need. We'll just do this a half inch at a time. So there's three, three and a half, two, two and a half, and one. Okay. I'm going to 
fold these in half let's see I don't know if I have frayed burlap I might have to Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. Make sure they line up perfectly. We want perfect. Well, you know, kind of. We kind of want perfect. We don't need to be perfect. Nothing needs to be perfect. We're not automaton machines. We are people. And if you make a mistake, you can usually do something to fix it. Or it's just a, an endearing quality to your product. Because we are not the machines. Some people put out these books like they're machines. Good Lord, I, I don't know how some people... I mean, I, I I guess I'm doing, you know, maybe two a month, but it seems like some people do a whole lot more than that. There's just too many other things that I've got to do. And, and I find the computer work, yeah, I don't, I don't care much for, you know, I had to you do computers for years and years and years, and now I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> but, I mean, the, the putting on the... Uh, getting the the videos up is really not a hard thing and I the this last one that I did the Magnolia Lane one um, I actually made a little uh, uh, yeah slideshow um, like I've seen some people do and I said well that you know that's looks a little more professional I don't know I don't I don't know it it's you know sometimes it's like that's kind of important to me and other times it's it's just it's all about doing this and having somebody to talk to and you guys are it you guys are it and now that my son doesn't live here well my husband he has his own um, shop and he goes uh, to that just about every day um, and usually it's you know about 11 o'clock he's taking he's going over there he comes back about an hour and a half or so for lunch so I see him then and then he's uh, gone again and we usually eat about seven so uh, I don't see him much during the day. Now at night, we're we're together. Now what I do with my black on black here? I can't tell where my fourth one is. Ah, right here. Okay. Okay. So now uh, you can take a a hole punch or whatever it is you have, and I am going to go in well that's not very centered there we go <clears throat> I'm gonna go in oh about a quarter of an inch get my pincher thingies let's get these ready to go and slide it in there now we could put this through but I think that would be uh, logistically a nightmare so I think I'm just going to <coughs> oh excuse me <coughs> excuse me so sorry um, Okay. 
Okay, so I think I'm just, we'll just glue these down. To make sure that that is not going to come out the sides here. So I kind of turn it a little angle. All right, so there's one. <coughs> I am so sorry. My allergies today. Woohoo! <laughs> That was pretty bad. I did bring some water. I think as soon as I get this going, I'm going to have some water. Oh, got that centered very well. That was good. And how'd I do on this one? Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, now this one that I pulled out is only got one leg. Oh, it does have a second one. It's just all rolled up on itself. Let's see. Oh, and I've watched some people with some uh, long nails do this and so much better than I do and I think I just have kind of regular length nails and I still can't get it I still can't get it in there right at least not all the time there we go Okay, that one wanted to hang out just a little bit. So I need my Timmy scissors. <clears throat> there we go. And last one. I am recording, aren't I? Yes, very good. Okay, come on now. You both have to get in there in order for you to work. It's a pretty small hole, and these aren't lining up just right. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, I've got these and they make a, a uh, 16th of an inch hole or an eighth of an inch. I think it's an eighth of an inch hole. All right. And there we go. Now we have two latches. And we're gonna bring them over here. And I think first, I'm going to go ahead and set these up. Do I have them? Let's see. They are definitely up too high. All right. Now they are lined up nicely and... I'm so, so sorry, guys. Uh, one, two, three. Um, yeah, so that is just about right. So I am going to hold. Ah. And get this lined up again. Hold them. 
and glue. Come on. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys. And the more I talk, the more my throat scr it gets scratchy. So I don't know that it's going to be a great rest of my day to do videos if I'm going to continuously cough in your ear. Nobody likes that. Not even me. Double check that we're still lined up correctly. Yes, we are. Okay. And then we're going to put one of these here and one of these here, just like that. And I am going to use a bit of score tape. And I'll just right at the top and then I'll cut it off and then right at the bottom and cut it off and do the same thing with this next one right at the top. So basically you're covering up your brad bottoms <clears throat> and you're giving it some extra strength and then I will put a bit of glue, a bit of glue on there. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to trim, make sure I've got that trimmed off first. A drink, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> That's good stuff. I, um, I'm, uh, I, I just found out I have, I have food allergies and let me tell you, food allergies, I have just started having them, well, within the last seven eight years I mean I hit 50 and BAM food allergies big time so um, I uh, <clears throat> it's 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 taken some getting used to and I finally got uh, with a nutritionist and I got a, a tested because I had a blood sensitivity test done so those are things that your body, uh, that your body can't fight or get rid of easily, I believe. I might have this all backwards. And then when I got the test where they poke you in the back, 92 needles, 92 needles. I thought she was never going to finish. Um... I got some uh, some more things that I'm allergic to, but it also answered a lot of questions because I'd been having a lot of problems and but staying away from everything that I was allergic to, I thought. So one of the things that they added to my list is citric acid and oranges. So... <clears throat> um, and I can't do um, sodas. I don't drink coffee. I'm I'm not a coffee or tea drinker. I don't I don't care for the flavor, so I don't do that. Now I need something that I'm going to <clears throat> make across here. Maybe if I brought this back. I have a couple of these. Let's see, shorter ones. 
there and get these two shorter ones <clears throat> and I'm going to glue these together and that should fit right through there. I wonder if I got a little piece of light chipboard something. Let's see. <clears throat> hmm. What do I have? I just, I think I'll just use a piece of the a piece of this. Okay. And this only needs to be about I'm going to cut all three of these at the same time and I'm going to make this brown one a little shorter and if I have these about here then I want this to be and thinking of his little fingers I think I will keep it the length it is and I think no let's cut it down a little bit because I want you to be able to pull it out of one but leave it in the other um, so if I let's go ahead and glue this down just to help stiffen that up a little bit more and then we'll glue this So there's that. And if there is some of it hanging over the edge, we were just going to trim that off. I guess this one was just a little bit. longer than the other one but not bad okay <clears throat> all righty so I think If I take this through here I think Okay, and I will make a little pocket for it. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just make a little pocket and you can pull it out and stick it down into the pocket. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these on. So I'm going to take this little doodad off and I'm going to put just a little bit of glue And I'm going to lay this down. Okay. 
day. And it probably actually would be easier to put this on afterwards, wouldn't it? After I actually cover this with paper. Can I get this back up? Oh, yes, I can. Yay. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait to do this. Let me just get this stuck back on here so it doesn't stick to other things. All right, so there's that one and that one. And where's my, let's just wipe this off. Okay, so there we have this. And then this one flips and these two flip. Great place for pictures. Gonna put uh, tags in these. This will be closed, and then this is all going to go around it. And this, I believe, is going to be my um, center for this grouping of, of goodies. Okay, so let's go ahead. <coughs> Line this up, top and bottom. I think I moved it big time. Okay, now the quarter of an inch this is not quite thick enough to fill that spot. So I am going to get, I've got this little pad of paper that broke off the main part of the paper. And I think this will help me to fill the quarter of an inch that I'm missing. Oh yeah, that's much better. All right. Um, put this down. Okay, and we're just going to lay that right over just like that. There we go. There we go. All righty then. Yay! So there is number one. And then we'll do the same thing with number two. Line this up. Yeah. My husband letting my dog in. He wanted to come see his mommy. As long as he doesn't lose sight of Papa. Papa is his favorite. But that's okay. I don't sit down long enough. They like to sit and snuggle and get rubs. And, and I do that, but I just... I don't do well not doing something. I can't just sit there and watch TV. I've got to kind of have something else to do. Which I think drives my husband nuts. I think it does. I think he would prefer me just to sit and be with him. But it's like, I'm sorry. I'm going nuts. Okay. So now we are... Just going to push down on here so that we are getting that glue burnished down well. Okay. 
There we go. One more time on this side. Get little bits of goober. Goober glue. Goober glue. Okay. All right. And then this one. I've already got my fold on. I added a hinge to this. This was just a scrap piece I had. I do not know where this little stain is, but it's going to get covered. And then this, once I get this covered, I will put this piece on. But first I have to come up with that, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to go ahead and build my second one. And then we'll figure out where my little voice things in are. And then this will be my center for this one. And then the Triceratops will be the center because this will be page two. And then you'll be page three, which will be the same as this one. And then you'll have these two. These are the, the other ones I made where this comes together and then this flaps open and then this flaps open and this flaps open. So, and these have got room for pockets and everything because this is a half inch. So let's just check. This will be page one and this will be page two. So let's just lay them in there. Close it up. Get the magnets. Get the magnets in. There we go. And let's see. Yeah. They fit in there. They fit in there pretty good. And remember these these things are really rounded right now, but if it fills up these will flatten out and which will spread the spacing between the two of these. So I think we are good. I think we're good. All right, guys, I am going to build page three. Um, just like I did this one, except uh, when I go because page um, page three is going to have these incorporated into it. Um, instead of the uh, the flaps in here instead of these so we will have um, somehow have these on here I haven't figured that out yet I might just make like a double pocket uh, yeah that might be very cute is is a double pocket on here we'll see we'll see we might even do it this no can't do it that way because then They'd have to turn the whole book sideways in order for them to play with them. Yeah, so these will probably be like a double pocket or something. I might come up with something even better. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But I'm very excited about this. I'm loving how it's coming together, guys. Um, okay, so, and I also wanted to show you on these, when I put them down, I'm only going to glue down three sides so there will be a pocket behind here and I created these little things now this was a um, Elizabeth craft planter planter planner essential two and um, so it had just these this whole little file page and um, it's I'm hoping just to make sure I can cover that up, but I don't know. Uh, I probably will just, it comes with the holes. I probably will just cover the whole thing and um, with a, a piece from the back or something. But anyway, so then these will slide down. There'll be four of them and each one of them will slide down underneath. So they were perfect size, just absolutely perfect size. So, everything is coming together. All right. All right. I shall return. Thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Hey, comments. Send me some comments. Tell me what you're doing.
tell me what you're doing. I planted my blackberry bushes today. I was very excited to do that. They are the thornless blackberries. So um, maybe next season I will have tons of big, juicy, yummy blackberries. Oh, it's so good. All right, guys, <laughs> I digress. I'll talk to you after a while. Um, or I'll see you next video. I'm not sure if this is going to end one or not. Okay. See ya. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I actually remembered to turn my microphone on and hit the record button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, guys, I thought I'd bring you along. Um, I have cut my base. This is page number three. Um, I've got my my two uh, little games here and um, I am going to uh, make pockets out of these so there'll be a double pocket <clears throat> and um, yeah I, I'm still kind of working through working through that I have the same uh, pieces to go over the front and um, so I already done my die cutting and already done the die cutting for this. I just haven't, uh, I have to put on a, <clears throat> a hinge so that that will work just like the other one. I might have to shorten it up just a little bit. I will, uh, I will double check these and and because i want them to look the same and i think this one is going to have this one's going to have to be shortened up a little bit to get the same look since they're going to be sitting right next to each other and then i die cut across this was one of my scraps it's uh five and an eighth by eight and a half um, and i die cut across it in the center with the cloud and then I just taped it so that it would stay together. Um, this time we're going to make a um, vertical pocket where the last, on the other one, we made more of a horizontal uh, pocket. Okay, so um, first thing I need, okay, that's an inch, but it is too short. So that won't work. Let's see what I got here. That is not quite an inch. It's only three quarters. And here I have um, about an inch and a half. But I think if I cut this circle off, I will have an inch. Let's give it the old Jolly Roger here. Because you will see that circle part if it doesn't all get cut off. And just a sliver of it, and we'll just make sure that that is the part that gets covered with paper. Well, both both of them will get covered with paper, so no big deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I've got both of these I cut at the same time. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this one the same length. And then that will be ready, but I'm not going to put it on yet because I believe I have to shorten this one up. Okay, so there's that part ready. Now, let's get the base page and our pockets out. And I believe I will be using this strip for my pockets. Now I do have one that I, because um, I thought about it, this was the second one I did. I thought about going ahead and putting um, a pocket on, I mean a hinge on the one side so that I maybe could do a pocket if I wanted to or I could have it just as a flip. So that's another option instead of making pockets. If you're not huge on pockets or um, don't have a place where you want to put something like this, you can make it a flap. You can make it a pocket. You can just make it down on the page and just have it as part of the page. It's totally up to you. Um, I do believe I will probably put a strip down these papers. Uh, they are uh, a little uneven, so I might build up a little bit. Like this one has nothing on it, and then this has two, and this has three. 
Um, these are pretty well evened out over here, but this one, I, I will put another little slip of paper on there and then put my strip down. Now, do I want to just use this quarter of an inch? I think so. I think that's plenty. Um, so let's get this. I, I have to, at night, I have to close my shades of my, um, of my window because if I don't, I have bugs flying in all the time and banging on the window. And since I'm the only one up, you know, that could be a little dis disconcerting. Okay, and then before I fold that one, I'm going to go ahead and cut this uh, just slightly above, or do I want to cut it just on the line? I don't have anything down here. Huh. Well, I think I'll leave just a little bit of an edge. Let's, let's see. I think I can possibly do it in this one. Let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. My allergies. Oh. They're, they're actually not as bad as I had in Florida, which is kind of weird because Florida is surrounded by ocean and that's supposed to really help. Oh, that looks good. That's supposed to really help your your allergies because that salt water mixes in with all the pollen and everything. I mean, that salty air and, but, um, so my, my allergies have not been as bad, but, um, they're just bad enough that it just keeps driving me nuts. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, these are good. Now this one I am going to have to add, but let's go ahead and cut it. Get a little bit of a space. There we go. And I will use this part. Let's see this part right here. And then this is the same size, so why not just use this? And it's it's basically one inch. So I'm just going to give that a little score line. Fold it over. Trim the corners. Okay. Let's get this one scored. And that's exactly at a half an inch, so that's kind of nice. There we go. Let's give this a little cut. Good. And then let's go ahead and get our glue primed and ready to go. <clears throat> Ugh. I don't think I've sneezed all day until I turned the camera on. <laughs> what else is new, right? All right, just all the way to the end. There we go. And give it a little burnish. Ugh. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And I even forgot to take this off last night and I got in my shower and I was doing this and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I thought maybe my skin was coming off or something. And I just have that little peak there. All right. Um, 
this needs to get edged. Okay, and let's edge this one and cut my little jobbies off. Okay, let's give these a little trim. These are my little jobbies, by the way, when I said little jobbies. If you didn't know what I was meaning. Okay, so now there are our two pockets exactly the same size yes very nice okay that sponge i am going through all of my used sponges so that's good i'm getting the last little bits off of them puppies and uh you know <laughs> okay base page um gonna have to come up with what i want on my base page and let me do a little bit of house cleaning I've got quite a bit of uh, pieces here okay let's see what I've got okay this page I'm going to use in sections and I want to use the whole section so that will be getting used up now that's just for the brown or the blue because as you can see well you know it's, it's not great but the brown color works with with all of it um, <clears throat> I actually might end up cutting these out because they would be big enough for him to play with so these two um, cutting out and then I have these this background paper here which will work for pockets and you know I'll have I'll have that much left so that'll be good uh, this would probably work and you know it's it's kind of um, they're different I like this one better because you can actually it's it's actually the details on the animal and these are just like silhouettes so um, but this might work as our background that these guys are going to be on. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to like that paper a lot anyway. And then there's this one, which is way too busy. And I love these. I was even thinking about circle cutting some of these out. And I've got a little die that they might work really cute in just as a little... A little doodad and then I've got all these cards and this and that's a little too busy for me and then these eggs I don't really want to cover these up I love the colors and the patterns and I love this too so that one and then these guys are really just for uh, for the, <coughs> the the words and the cards um, this one I am going to start cutting strips and using. And then I've got these two gray polka dotty ones. And that's it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut half inch strips um, so that I've got them and I'm ready. Because I think these might be the strips that I'm going to use on the sides. Let me go ahead and get the little bar barcode bar barcode strip off. There we go. <clears throat> now let's see where we're at here. Eleven and a half. Eleven. Ten and a half. And ten. And that'll give me a good start. 
love those strips. Okay. See that, that will look really cute. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I also have, did I cut any out yet? I do not think I did. Let's see. I also have these strips. And let's see, what am I putting it on? I'm putting it on. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm hiding my papers from myself. This or this. Yeah, we'll do we'll do this strip on this paper. It'll look much better. Okay. So now I kind of showed you what papers I still have. And I still have which I don't know that I'll be using too much more. One, two, three, four, five. I still have five, and that will be good because um, I am going to have to make my booklets. Uh, I am going to have to make these the back with uh, with that. So, yeah. So that's good. I'm glad I have that many. Okay, base page this back over here put these back over here there we go oh and I still have um, most of the brown that I started off with alrighty I believe uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my strip off little bit of goodie on there so we'll put that away now let's see are we square I have found some of these papers were not square but this one at least on this side is so you just go and measure and find where it's off and cut so um, this piece here I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece and that will give me a, a whole page to use and then I'll cut this piece which will be great for anything or you know whatever I want it to be for that's what it's gonna be because I have the power when I'm sitting in this chair <laughs> oh I listen to you guys sometimes sometimes I listen oh and I also have the rest of this and this <coughs> oh I am so sorry guys so sorry okay and then cut here okay so let's see how we're doing Okay, looks good, looks good. All right, so I'll put this off to the side for a minute and we're gonna figure out our pockets and our strips. Okay, um, I wonder, can I fit? See, this is the same height as the paper. Can I fit a pocket here and a pocket here and then I'm not losing <laughs> hmm yeah I think we can do that then I'm not losing my um, 
this back piece for you know a nice picture spot so I think I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to play around with this for a second. Oh, that started itching. Mentioned it. Now it, I've jinxed myself. <laughs> Just be careful with this that you don't pull the tape off. I mean, you can realign it for sure. But, uh, I love this, um, uh, this kind of tape, Micropore. It's, it's just superb. Now, do I want to put this one on the bottom and this one on the top? I think so. This one's just a little heavier, darker, and to, so to me, it kind of anchors it down, where this one is a little lighter, and you also, you know, with these strips, but... Um, yeah, okay. Let's see. Am I going to like this? That's basically going to go right there. And is that going to be too much on the pockets while he's flipping and flapping this thing? Maybe so. So let's go back to doing it this way. And um, so I want to line them up. Let's see. There is basic center. So there's center. I want to line them up so that I can run this from the top to the bottom. Huh? I think. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, definitely that's what I want to do. Definitely. Huh. Is this one thinner or is it just the sides are thin? Oh, it must be a little thinner because this one covers it up much nicer. So this one must have gotten cut a little thinner. I don't know how you do that, man. You know, you measure a half an inch and you cut. And then it's not the same as the other one. <laughs> Oh, really? The only thing is, I think this is going to have to come down to the bottom because they are so bulky in order to get a tag in here. Yeah, it, it, will, it will work this far apart. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue these down. I've got my, my paper on my, uh, on my board here. So everything, so the base page is in the center and I have my uh, really thick center line here so that I can try and line these up so that they will, ah, I left it too long. It wasn't primed very well. Oh, there, it's much happier. I actually have very little problem with this, uh, with this anymore. I, I, it seemed like it used to. I don't know if I've just gotten better at putting the pin in, um, or what. But okay, so now, without moving the paper, I want to find my center. Here we go. Let go of my finger. There we go. All right. 
burnish. <clears throat> Sorry, little burnish. I'll tell you, my voice just goes away on me. Now, can I cut a little piece of this? Yes, I can. And this is going to help it fill out just a little bit. <clears throat> so that that strip that I'm going to put all the way up will um, not be so indented on that one. I think the other ones are all fine. This one just seems to be the first one that I did on that side and I never this first and only one on that side so I never got <clears throat> um, any spacers in it and then this one is all set to go get my paper lined up again because I'll use the top marks to uh, help me find my center you can also You can also take your ruler if you like. Get this back where it's supposed to be. Okay, but you can take your ruler as well if you'd like to get a little more assistance. And then there we go. Now that is all lined up very nicely. It also will help you with um, keeping it straight because the strips will tell you if you've got them if they're off <clears throat> well I thought I would be able to make it through these videos because I kind of was better but not really okay so there's what that one's going to be and there is what that one's going to be i like okay yeah yeah those are good okay so i'm going to cut them i got them where they need to be on the bottom And let's get them where they need to be. Well, I think I'll take them from the top all the way. How's that? Okay, so let's see if these are the same. They should be the same. <coughs> Excuse me. And they are. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these. I'll line my ends up and give myself an extra hand. Oh. <sighs> and let's get these cut. There we go. Those are my little strip pile. And let's see how well I did. And you know what? If anything sticks off, I can just cut it. No problems. And... I think but I want to make that go down that might be just enough okay I am going to ink these up I am not putting anything in here or here um, I'm actually going to let it form over them I don't know for sure that that is uh, 
you know, what I'm going to like for sure. But uh, I think it'll be all right. I think it'll look cute. I could just do <clears throat> a strip on this. So let's see. I could just do a strip on this and a strip on this. <sighs> really? <laughs> okay, so I could just do that. But I don't know. That just makes the pa page look like I've just got two little teeny pockets. This looks like it's a whole thing taking up the space. And then I'm going to have some pockets there. Yeah. 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 Ha. Okay. Okay. That's, that's what we're going to do. That's what I was going to do. That's what we're going to do. Let me get this one inked up. You always go with your first unless you're just blown away by what you think of next you know if you get blown away by something then by all means go with it but if the other item that you thought of doesn't blow you away near as much as you thought it was going to then just go with your first notion usually okay <clears throat> So let's put some glue on this puppy and get it down and see what we're going to think. Okay, I'm starting at the very bottom, which is right at the bottom of the page. And I want to make sure that I'm covering the whole thing. And then I'm putting this down and I burnished it and then I'm gonna put this one burnish it and then get that burnish it there we go and it's just long enough Okay, so let's get down get down to some good burnishing here. Now I'm not making the creases along these pieces here. I'm just creasing in between the two pockets. <clears throat> there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know what that was for. All right, so let's do this one. Okay, again, starting at the bottom. And then let's burnish it over the edge. And then getting it on straight. And then down <clears throat> there we go very nice I like it I like it lots like it lots and then I'll be able to let's see it'll have to be a, a small tag but <clears throat> and then this one will have to be um, nice pocket for a tag. We will do the tags later, but okay, so there's that. And then this goes on this. Yep. And I didn't burnish. I haven't burnished anything for heaven's sakes, girl. What are you doing? I like to try and get this done when you're not 
sitting here watching me. See, I gotta keep an eye, eye out on how much time I have left on my camera. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and I'm going to get myself to a point that you've already seen. I'm going to glue those two down uh, and I will come back for when I figure out the measurement on this. I will come back for this so you can see how I'm going to do it. All right, I'll be back in a minute. 